What's going on guys, it's Simo. So today I'm bringing to you a Salamangrate combo tutorial. Yesterday I brought you an introduction to Salamangrate, kind of covering the very basic interactions that this deck has to offer. But today I wanted to go a little bit more in depth and show you some of the basic one and two card combos that you're able to pull off with this deck. Now, the combos I'm gonna be showcasing aren't like six negate boards or anything crazy like that. But what this deck's strength is, is that the fact that it can assemble boards that have a few forms of disruption off of like one or two cards and it's able to do it very consistently and through multiple different variations of different combinations of cards. So that's where the strength of this deck lies and I really hope you guys enjoy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So kicking things off with combo number one, we're going to be just using one single copy of Gazelle. And the reason I wanted to do this is just to showcase what you can do with just a single card in this deck. And it may not be anything crazy, but just being able to generate a plus three in terms of card advantage not to mention you would have four other cards in your hand that you'd be able to do stuff with is pretty good just on its own so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and normal summon your gazelle use its effect to send a copy of salamangrate spinny to the graveyard then you're going to go ahead and use the effect of spinny to resurrect itself since we have a salamangrate monster on the field and we're going to go ahead and overlay these two monsters into a copy of salamangrate mirage stallio we're going to use the effect of Mirage Stallio here, detach the Gazelle, and go ahead and special summon a copy of Salamangrate Jack Jaguar directly from our deck. From here, what we can do is we can go ahead and take both of these monsters and summon out a copy of Salamangrate Sunlight Wolf by making a Link 2 play. And now that we have a Link 2 on the field, we can go ahead and use the effect of our Jack Jaguar and Graveyard to shuffle back a copy of, let's say, Mirage Salio into our extra deck to special summon Jack Jaguar to a zone that this monster points to. Because we summon a monster to a zone that Sunlight Wolf points to, we can use Sunlight Wolf's effect to to go ahead and add Gazelle back into our hand. Now we can go ahead and link off the Jack Jaguar into a copy of Salamangrate Bailinx. This is gonna go ahead and trigger the effect of Bailinx, which is gonna allow us to add a copy of Salamangrate Sanctuary from our deck to our hand. We're gonna use the effect of Sanctuary, activate it to link, well, not really activate it. We're gonna go ahead and link off the Bay Links using the Sanctuary's effect to summon another copy of Bay Links, and that's gonna be the end board here. So we ended up going plus three, because remember, we started with the Gazelle, and now we have a Sunlight Wolf, a Bay Links, and a Sanctuary on the field, so that's three extra cards. We'd have four other cards in our hand, which could be hand traps, you know, regular traps like Solemns or anything like that, and not to mention, we have a Bay Links in the graveyard, which can go ahead and protect our field. Sunlight Wolf can trigger again next turn if it's not dealt with. And basically we can just go off and pretty much we're really set up for the next turn. Not to mention we have Spinny as well. So that's it for the first combo. Well, let's go ahead and dip into the second combo using Lady Debug. All right, so combo number two is gonna be very similar to number one, except instead of Gazelle, we're gonna use Lady Debug. This is just going to show just how powerful having Lady Debug is in the deck and that it's able to go plus four instead of plus three. So it's actually slightly better than just opening with a gazelle. So we're going to go ahead and normal summon the Lady Debug and add gazelle over into our hand. Now we're going to link off the Lady Debug for a copy of Salamangrate Bailinx. From here, we're going to go ahead and use Bailinx's effect to add a Sanctuary from our deck to our hand. We're going to activate it and then go ahead and use Bailinx to summon out another Bailinx with Salamangrate Sanctuary on the field. This is going to trigger our gazelle since we had a Salamangrate monster hit the graveyard. Now we're going to use its other effect to go ahead Ahead and send a copy of Salamangrate Spinny to our graveyard as well. So now since we have a Salamangrate monster, we can summon Spinny to our field and overlay both of these cards for Salamangrate Mirage Stallio. From here, we're gonna detach the Gazelle. You wanna leave the Spinny underneath Mirage Stallio because that's a little bit more protection from stuff like Call by the Grave, DD Crow, things like that. And we're gonna special summon a copy of Jack Jaguar out onto our field. We're gonna link off the Bay Lynx and the Jack Jaguar to go ahead and summon out a copy of Sunlight Wolf. And now we're gonna go ahead and shuffle back the uh, one of our copies of Bay Lynx into 
into our extra deck to summon the Jack Jaguar out onto our field. It can be in attack or defense position. And then since a monster was summoned to his own Sunlight Wolf points to, we can add Gazelle back into our hand. So this is our ending board. It's very similar to the one you just saw. It just has a little bit more firepower behind it. But what's crazy is remember, you still have four other cards in your hand, so it could be any sort of disruption. And if your opponent doesn't answer this board, they have a lot to deal with because they have a Sunlight Wolf, which could trigger again next turn. Mirage Stallio can special summon out onto the field. You have another spinny ready just for when Mirage Stallio does eventually hit the grave. Jack Jaguar can resurrect itself and you have Gazelle already in your hand. So that's really good just off of a single card. But let's go ahead and see what we can do with two. All right, so for combo number three, this is when the deck really starts to take off with some two card combos. So we're gonna be showcasing a combo with Gazelle and Spinny, just so you can see how potent this combination is. You can also do this combination with either of these plus Lady Debug to search the other one that you didn't have. So do keep that in mind. You have a lot of different ways to access this particular combo. So starting off, we're gonna go ahead and normal summon a copy of Spinny and immediately link it off into Salamangrate Bailings. We're gonna have a chain here. So chain link one's gonna be Bailings and chain link two is going to be Gazelle since a Salamangrate was sent to Grave. So Gazelle is gonna summon itself and Bailings is going to add Sanctuary to hand. We're gonna trigger Gazelle's other effect now to send a copy of Salamangrate Roar to our graveyard. From here, we're gonna resurrect the Spinny since we control a Salamangrate monster and we're gonna overlay both of these into a copy of Mirage Stallio. From here, we're gonna detach the Gazelle just like we did before and we're gonna special summon out a copy of Jack Jaguar. We're gonna use the Jaguar and the Bailinx to go ahead and make our copy of Salamangrate Sunlight Wolf. We're gonna activate Salamangrate Sanctuary and link off the Sunlight Wolf to make a second copy of Sunlight Wolf. Now, from here, what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and shuffle back one copy of Sunlight Wolf into our extra deck to special summon the copy of Jack Jaguar to our field. This is going to also allow us to trigger the Sunlight Wolf by adding Gazelle back into our hand. Lastly, since Sunlight Wolf was used uh, as a link material to summon another one, we can go ahead and take a Salamangrid Spell or Trap and add it to our hand, which we can then set to our field. So this is the end board. So you have a Negation, you have a Sunlight Wolf, which can trigger again next turn. So even if you use the Roar, you can add it back with Sunlight Wolf. Mirage Stallion has a special summon, Jack Jaguar can bring itself back out, and you have Gazelle in your hand to do the whole thing over again next turn, and you have three cards in your hand. That's pretty nuts. So that's why I wanted to showcase that off because you're able to just do this every single turn and it puts a lot of pressure onto your opponent. But let's look at something a little bit different to wrap things up. So for the fourth and final combo, I wanted to showcase something a little bit different where you don't have access to Gazelle. And this is where a card like Salamangrate Foxy really shines. And I wanted to just showcase why you want to play this card in your Salamangrate deck. So starting off, we're going to normal summon Foxy. It has an effect to look at the top three and add a Salamangrate card to your hand. So that puts us at four other cards in hand. For the purposes of this video, it doesn't matter, but just keep in mind this card's going to be a plus one if you hit off the effect, and that's really, really good. We're going to go ahead and link off Foxy, though, for a copy of Bailinx. We're going to use Bailinx's effect to add Salamangrate Sanctuary to our hand. Now we're going to activate the Sanctuary, and since there's a face-up spell or trap card, we can use Foxy's effect to discard a Salamangrate card to special summon Foxy to the field. And now we have a Salamangrate monster. We can also special summon Spinny we can overlay both Foxy and Spinny for Mirage Stallio. We can use Mirage Stallio, detach the Foxy, and special summon out Gazelle. Now, Gazelle's gonna trigger, send a copy of Salamangrate Roar to our graveyard, we're gonna do something a little bit differently here. We're gonna use the Bay Lynx and the Mirage Stallio for our Link 2 play, getting into our copy of Sunlight Wolf. Now for Sunlight Wolf, we're gonna go ahead and link it off immediately into another Sunlight Wolf using our Sanctuary. And now we can go ahead and link off this copy of Gazelle for another copy of Bay Lynx. That's gonna trigger our Sunlight Wolf, allowing us to add Gazelle back into our hand. And since Sunlight Wolf was essentially Reincarnation Link summoned, we can add Salamangrate War to our hand as well and set that face down. So again, tons of advantage with this. We're able to just have a roar. We have Gazelle for next turn. Sunlight Wolf is able to go off again next turn as well. We have a Bailinx and Grave. We pretty much end with Bailinx and Grave on almost all of these combos. And that's pretty good for just two cards and not opening Gazelle. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this combo tutorial and I hope this showcases what the deck is able to do and able to do very consistently with very minimal resources. So let me know down in the comments what 
you guys think and what other combos you really like that this deck can do. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh content. And if you found this video helpful, consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a YouTube channel member. Because just by showing your support in any way that you can, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.